Have you ever wondered, what if we could capture an image of an Earth-like planet revolving around another star, with sufficient clarity to see continents, seas, and clouds? Many theories and ideas have been proposed to get to this point of clarity in our images. It seems impossible. Exoplanets, or planets that circle other stars, seem like fireflies next to flashlights from our perspective. You still need a telescope with a diameter of 90 kilometers to pick out surface characteristics on a planet 100 light years away. And that won't change, even when the next generation of space telescopes becomes operational. A bold strategy to address these challenges has been developed by a team of researchers. They suggest that one day a space observatory stationed far beyond Pluto might provide unprecedented views of planets in orbit around other stars, revealing alien seas, continents, and perhaps even evidence of life. The plan is to send a fleet of solar sail spacecraft further from Earth than any previous space probe, then to turn around and utilize the gravity of the distant Sun as a big magnifying glass. If successful, we will get a photograph of an exoplanet with a resolution that will allow us to distinguish features as small as 10 kilometers wide. Some astronomers, however, are looking far into the future, envisioning a solar lensing space telescope that might magnify tiny patches of an exoplanet's surface they'd be able to provide a massively high-resolution picture, a realistic likeness of an extraterrestrial planet. But is it feasible, and how does it operate precisely? Let's find out. Since the turn of the century, the general contours have been understood. Albert Einstein was the first person to theorize about gravitational lensing. He came to the conclusion that the gravity of a big body, such as a star, would cause the light rays to bend around it. In 1919, during a total solar eclipse, Sir Arthur Eddington made the first of many groundbreaking confirmations of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity by measuring the way starlight was bent around the sun's gravity. If a space telescope were placed in the precise location, it would be able to see an exoplanet's picture magnified by several orders of magnitude. The light coming from the planet would be bent by the sun, and it would be focused at a point on the opposite side. This would have the effect of enlarging the image of the exoplanet until it was enormous. However, there is a lengthy catalog of telescopic issues that could arise. The first issue is the physical distance. An astronomical unit is equal to the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is approximately 93 million miles. This value serves as the standard for measuring the length of such long journeys. The distance between the Sun and Pluto is approximately 40 astronomical units. 547 astronomical units is the minimum distance required for a solar lensing telescope. In all actuality, however, the telescope would need to be situated even farther out in order to achieve the correct alignment. The distance could be as great as 2,000 astronomical units, or even further. The icy Kuiper belt of space bodies, of which Pluto is included, spans to a distance of approximately 55 astronomical units. The Oort cloud is a shell that extends from 5,000 to 100,000 astronomical units. It is the region of dormant comets, which are the most distant objects that are gravitationally connected to the Sun. And, to go to the next closest star, Proxima Centauri, you would have to travel 271,000 light years. With the technology available today, it could take decades only to reach the position where solar lensing occurs, which is beyond the Kuiper Belt. The fastest space probe ever launched into space was the one that visited Pluto in July 2015 and conducted a breathtaking flyby of the planet after a voyage that lasted nine years. It took a very long time for it to get all the way to Pluto because it's quite far away. The gravitational lens of the Sun is located at a distance that is more than 10 times that of Pluto. Innovative new forms of propulsion, like ion thrusters, solar sails, or even laser-pushed sails, have the potential to drastically reduce the amount of time required for the journey. Using the solar sails technology that can capture the momentum of light from the sun and use that momentum as propulsion, a spacecraft would fly close to the sun, pick up speed, and fling itself toward the outer reaches of our solar system, completing the journey in just 25 years instead of the 50 years that it would normally take. This would allow the spacecraft to reach for the solar sails. Once the propulsion issue is resolved, imaging will be the next item on the list. The parent star of the exoplanet and other sources of interference would need to be eliminated. Additionally, the telescope's positioning would need to be far from the sun's focal point in order to avoid our own sun's glare obscuring the exoplanet's faint, far-off flicker. 
Once installed, a complete exoplanet would not be visible to the solar lensing telescope. Instead, the planet's light would appear as a ring around the Sun, as a result of the Sun's gravity distorting light from an object that is behind the Sun, but also in alignment with the Sun and the telescope. In this scenario, the object in question is the distant exoplanet. This smearing effect is known as an Einstein ring. Within the Einstein ring, strips of the planet's light could, at least in principle, be captured by the telescope. So, in addition to the blur caused by the exoplanet's movement, which would somehow have to be corrected, these strips would have to be reassembled to create a coherent image of the exoplanet's surface. To say the least, the technological obstacles that the solar lensing must overcome are quite difficult. To begin, there is a problem of correct navigation. The demand for communications over enormous distances and the requirement for a parasol to prevent the light from our own sun entering the telescope. All of these issues need to be addressed. Additionally, a worthwhile target would need to be found in advance in order to justify the construction of such a complex telescope. This target would be an Earth-like exoplanet that has already shown signs of life when examined by other types of telescopes. We are not aware of any planet that fits this description at this time. However, if we had the opportunity to do so, it would fundamentally alter our conception of where we stand in relation with the rest of the cosmos. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.